So that's what they decided to do. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement until one day the bar, honor, b bar owner threw them a curveball. Since you're all such good customers, he said, I'm going to reduce the cost of your daily beer by $20. So that's what they decided to do. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement until one day the bar owner threw them a curveball. Since you're all such good customers, he said, I'm going to reduce the cost of your daily beer by $20. So that's what they decided to do. Decided to do. And you guys did great right here. I, uh, the pronunciation, I really like the natural. Decided to do. Decided to do. Decided to do. And you guys did it. So that's what they decided to do. So that's what they decided to do. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day. Separate, not one word. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement. And seemed quite, and seemed quite, and seemed quite happy with the arrangement, with the arrangement, with the arrangement. Until one day, the bar owner threw them a curveball. Until one day, the bar owner threw them a curveball, threw them a curveball. You guys did very good here. Curveball again, I'll explain that tomorrow. Uh, it's a great expression, baseball expression. Since you're, so once again, you are, perfect pronunciation, you were, you were, you were, a little bit faster we say your, but the daily pronunciation is your, your. Since you're, since you're all such good customers, since you're all such good customers, he said, he said, I'm going to, so once again, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. And she's got a little bit of a G. There's a little bit of a G, but not much. Okay. This M is, is uh, kind of more powerful. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reduce the cost. I'm going to reduce, reduce the cost of your cost of your daily beer by $20. Okay, uh, and punctuation it is confusing. Um, you can uh, you can actually make this a period, um, but it's kind of a continuation, so a comma is better. Uh, it's debatable uh, how to do punctuation. So yeah, that's it. Not too bad. It, this is the longest section, but you guys did pretty good. Once again, if you missed this, I understand. Everything else is little, uh, and I I'm quite certain. This is going to be tough, but I'm quite certain uh, when you listen again, you'll hear hopefully everything. Are you ready? Here we go. So that's what they decided to do. The reporters decided to pay their tab every day, just like we pay our taxes. The 10 reporters drank at the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement. They liked it. They were accepting. Even this guy who was paying $59, he's like, okay, that's fine. I'm rich, so that's fine. I don't mind. Until one day, the bar owner threw them a curveball. Now, in baseball, in baseball, you have the pitcher, the guy who throws the ball, right? And there's actually different styles of throwing the ball. Um, there's there's a, a style, and I'll, I'll try and draw pictures. Uh, there's a style, he throws the ball, and the ball drops. Yeah, that's possible. This is called a sinker. Then there's the zoom super fast one. That's called a fastball. Then there's another one where he throws the ball, and then it curves. This is where it drops. It drops. It drops. So it's a sinker. But it curves to the left or it curves to the right. That's a curve ball. Believe it or not, there's another ball that kind of wobbles like this. Seriously, it's called a knuckle ball or even a spit ball. Uh, so there are different types of pitches, uh, but you have to have a very strong arm and very powerful arm to create these types of phenomena, but it's possible. So that's in baseball. We got the sinker. The curveball, the fastball, the spitball, the knuckleball. Those are five different pitches. In daily English, if somebody throws you a curveball, curveballs curveballs are difficult to hit because you don't know where the ball is going to go. Whoa, it's to the left. Whoa, it's to the right. It's surprising. You think the ball is coming straight, and then suddenly, zoom, it goes like this. 
So it's confusing. A curveball can be confusing. So everybody was really happy paying the tax system, but then the bar owner whoom, threw him a curveball and things got really confusing. What happened? Since you're all such good customers, he said, I'm going to reduce the cost of your daily beer by $20. That sounds great, right? That's great. Yeah. Drinks for the 10 reporters would now cost. So that's what they decided to do. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement until one day the bar owner, b bar owner threw them a curveball. Since you're all such good customers, he said, I'm going to reduce the cost of your daily beer by $20. So that's what they decided to do. The 10 reporters drank in the bar every day and seemed quite happy with the arrangement until one day the bar owner, b bar owner threw them a curveball. Since you're all such good customers, he said, I'm going to reduce the cost of your daily beer by $20.